What's up guys? Welcome to my channel. In today's video we're going to be talking about these motors here, the application, which motor you should use, how it's going to be used, how you're going to gear it, what is the RPM, RPM output of these uh, motors, and how you're going to understand it. I have a little equation in the back of me here, so it's very simple. A lot of people don't understand it in the beginning, but little by little you will master master this field. And um, anytime you're going to throw in a motor in a RC or you're going to buy a RC or you want to upgrade components, you're going to be looking at the motor and how you're going to upgrade these. So there's a number here, KV. Okay, Each motor has a number here. So this is a new motor came out by Castle. This one is 2400 KV. So over here it will tell you on the box 90,000 RPM. Okay, So we got we got short, uh, we got a big motor, skinny motor, we got a big fat motor, and it's, uh, the reason why I said short, because it's short compared to this one. We got skinny high RPM motor, we got short motors, low KV, we got very short motor, very high RPM, we got a fat motor, and a short motor compared to this one, low KV. So we're gonna understand how KVs work. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna look up on the board over here, okay? So I'm gonna take my marker here. So this motor I have in black here is everything about this new castle motor, which they say is does 90,000 RPM. Um, so the way it works is 30 volts, which is about 8S. Um, let's say you want to use a 2 volt battery. So let's say not just say 2 Let's say the example 2 volts. So you will multiply the voltage that you're applying to this with the KV. Okay. So 2400 KV. Let's say for example 2400 KV. Okay. And um, you're going to apply 3 volts to this. So you would get Okay, you would get 70, 7,200 RPM. That's about 7,000 RPMs, okay? Okay, so the RPMs we got over here, 2,400 KV times 30 volts, which is the 8S. We're going to get 70. So this, this baby right here is going to put 70,000 RPMs. Okay, 70,000 RPMs is offload. There's no load on this, meaning that thing is attached to this. And gearing is not on it. The, more, the car is not on it. Your pinion, spur, wheels, bearing, all that, and the weight of the car is your uh, your load. So load, let's eliminate 15% here, okay? You know what I'm going to do? I'm going to zoom on to this board here so you guys can see it much better. So, 15% load. You're left with 70 3,000 RPM. That's what you're left with. 73,000 RPM. What does that mean to your motor? So there's more things. If you're into the field, there's more thing applies over here. So I'm looking for my black marker, which I have no idea. Okay, it's back here. So what about temp? What kind of gear you would put on this little guy? I mean, this is a big guy, but uh, compared to the, uh, this bazooka I have sitting over here, um, so the new 2400 castle motor here, you know what, <laughs> you guys need to see me as well in here, a little bit. Temp is going to go up. So let's say you put a gear on this motor here, you have this motor here, and there's your shaft here. Let's say you put a gear over here, this is, uh, let's say, 34 tooth. And you have your spur is uh, 29. This is no good for this motor. Okay. What's going to happen here is the temperature. You're putting so much load, you're probably going to blow the motor. And uh, you're going to heat up. So the temperature on this little guy is going to go up. Okay. So you have to understand that. So gearing, high RPM, small gears. Now we're going to move over to this guy right here. This is going to give us a lot of RPM, this little guy. 
But what about that guy? We're going to switch up the marker for this guy right here. So over here, this is the, we're going to compare, we're comparing these two motors only, okay? And then we'll just talk about the other rest we have over there. So this fat motor over here, as you can see, I have almost like a 51, 52 pin in on this. 11,000 kV, that's what this motor is, 11,000 kV. If you guys can see it right there, 11,000 kV. Okay, 11,000 kV, 30 volts, is going to give you 33,000 RPM. And that's off load, so there's not load. So let's add on a load. Bearings, gearing, weight of the car, batteries, ESC, all that load, the weight and everything, your tires and everything. It's 15%. You can say 10%, but 15%. You divide that and eliminate 15% out of the 33,000, you're left with only 28,000 RPM. So, this motor, it handles temp. So, what would you want to, how are you going to bring the RPM? So, over here, if you are um, doing a gear ratio here, you're, you're pretty much getting uh, not too many, too hard, you don't have to get too much RPM over here because it already has RPM. Over here, we need to create RPM. We need to go something close to this. So your motor, this is your big fat motor there. Here's the shaft. So what you want to do here is, you're going to put a big pin in and you're going to put a small spur. That's what usually everybody does. So 20 tooth. 54 so that's like almost uh, 2 to 1 a little bit more than a 2 so you're multiplying these 28,000 RPMs you're almost doubling it you, you're trying to go 60,000 RPM okay usually you won't get that number let's say you get like 50,000 RPM so that's why you need a data log data log is going to help you it's going to tell you RPM you didn't have enough RPM. You need to gear up or gear down. That's how you can understand. The data log is going to give you temperature on this motor. Okay. If you put small gear here, let's say you had a, you had a 34 and a, and a 39. This motor is going to be, it has no function to it because you're not going to have the RPM. It's not going to pull. So over here, since it's a low kit, it's a lazy motor. That's all I see. A lazy motor, fast motor. The way I see it is, this thing is, uh, it got power. It, it's strong. This thing is fast, but it's not as strong as this. This can handle temperature. It doesn't, when I run this guy, it doesn't even heat up. You could touch it. But this guy is going to be boiling. You're going to need fans on that. So, that's it, guys. A little bit of understanding KVs. And you're going to have to deal with this in the, in the field. You're going to have to understand what kind of KV motor you need, what kind of KV um, RPMs you're going to have, you need, um, what kind of gear ring you're going to put on according to what kind of RPM you had or what time, kind of RPM you want the performance out of that motor. So this little guy right here, this thing right here is uh, 3,900. It's more than 2,900, this TP motor. This TP motor is a beast. It's more than this 2,400 kV. This little guy, this little guy is stronger than this little guy, okay? Not I mean stronger, but like speed-wise. He's fast, he's fast, but we can't put it. If you put an a, a, if you put an XLX2 on this guy and put an a, 8S uh, power system to this and put an 8S uh, lipos on this, um, it's probably going to smoke and burn out. And it, it is going to run, but uh, if you put a big gear on it, this thing is going to heat up. So those are the things you need to watch out. We got a low KV motor here. This is 2050. It is fast, but for the application that you would apply this to will be a 6S vehicle, or Arma Felony, or, or uh, Typhon. And uh, this one right here came out of uh, the uh, Vendetta. And uh, you see that this is uh, like one uh, tenth scale. It's going to handle the load. This is going to handle its own load. This is going to handle its own load. Okay. This is going to handle its own load. So it's all about, like, if you visually look at it, a football player, a basketball player, and if they go into each other, of course, obviously, this guy is going to win. But who's going to outrun? This guy. So that's why we're going to put on some gears and uh, 
Break that magic out. Anyway, guys, I'll hopefully help you out a little bit. Understand KBs and uh, how you're going to apply this stuff to your field. If you're going to go out there and do speed ones like me. Or if you want to go run trucks. And if you want a better performance out of the motor, you're going to have to do a uh, uh, check on the data log and uh, do uh, programming on these. Uh, so there's another programming video I'm going to have on these on data log and ESCs. And I'm going to be checking a lot of data log this coming up summer. So hopefully you guys understand. See you guys soon in the field. Summer, one more month, probably like three more weeks. And we're going to start running cars. Peace out.